We're in southwestern Nova Scotia near Yarmouth, near a marsh called the Arcadia Salt Marsh, which is where the Chabot River meets the Atlantic Ocean. My name is Emma Vost, and I'm the regional biologist with the Department of Lands and Forestry. Out of all the ecosystems in the world, salt marshes are among the most productive. A salt marsh occurs where a river and the ocean meet. This means that the water is brackish, so it's not as salty as the ocean, but it's saltier than fresh water. The species that live in brackish water often need the flooding that happens from the tides, but also require the nutrients that the fresh water brings. So salt marshes are home to a grass called Spartina multiflora, and this is a special grass that is adapted to live in salty conditions. It has these glands that excretes the salt, so it can survive when the marsh gets flooded periodically with the tides. It supports algae and fungus that snails will eat, and then crabs will eat the snails, and then birds will eat the crabs, and it's a great ecosystem providing a lot of primary production. Salt marshes are incredible because they are one of the most productive ecosystems on the planet. The grass that's specialized to live in these salty conditions slows down the current and wave action and allows sediment to accumulate. They're the ones that are going to protect us from the impacts of climate change and it's important for us to conserve them for future generations.